Hello and happy Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. It's your girl, Marie Milagros here. And during the month of November, we are talking about acceptance and appreciation. And of course, being that tomorrow is Thanksgiving and a lot of people wait, unfortunately, until the month of November and until Thanksgiving to really allow themselves to sit in a moment of intentional appreciation for the things, people, events, places in their lives that they're grateful for. So here's what I have for you today because I want to keep this short and sweet. Okay, the two most powerful words that you can use when you are talking about yourself are the words I am. And then whatever comes after that is solidifying within yourself what you are, what you are becoming, who you are evolving to be, and the truth about you. Well, rather, it's not necessarily the truth, but it's the truth that you allow yourself to believe. So if you say, oh, I'm so dumb, oh, I'm so stupid, oh, I'm so irresponsible, oh, I'm so, then you're absolutely right because you are declaring those those things to be true for yourself. They're not true, let's be clear, but you start to declare them because of the words I am. What happens in your human brain when you say I am is all of the stuff starts firing off and making connections and it's like, oh, this must be true, this must be true. So be very aware of what you put after the words I am. Now, in terms of other people, in terms of life, in terms of all things around you, the two most powerful words that you can use are thank you. Thank you. Thank you for not being there because it proved to me how resilient and resourceful I am. Thank you for not cushioning my every fall because when I finally fell, I realized that I didn't like the feeling of falling and I did the work within myself to make sure that it didn't happen again. Thank you to my father who provided the sperm. It was not your job to raise me. It was not your job to be in my life. Thank you for not being there. Because had you been there, I don't know who I would be or what my life would have looked like. So thank you, because it was not in your capacity to raise us as your children. Thank you for providing the sperm. Thank you that within that sperm was my darker melanin, my curly hair, my freckles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to my mother who always did the best she could with what she knew how. No matter what was happening in life, I really truly believe that she always did the best she could with what she knew how. And I can say that now as an adult, although as a kid, it didn't always feel like that. Thank you. Thank you to my siblings because we've had our ups and downs and our ebbs and flows, but we always can call on each other no matter what. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are because each of you inspires me in a complete different way. Thank you to my apartment. Thank you to this place that I get to call my home. Thank you to my amazing daughter. Thank you to the dishwasher because I hate hand washing dishes. Thank you to indoor plumbing. Thank you to warm showers. Thank you to heat. Thank you to the men who are out on that road right now putting pipes in the ground while we're all preparing for our holidays. They're making sure that we're safe and that the pipes that are in the grounds are safe for us. Thank you. Thank you, yes, to the road work and the construction that forces me to leave my house 15 minutes early because I have to do the, the, the squiggly squig to get to a destination that should have took me five minutes, now takes me 25. But thank you because you're doing the work to make my life easier and safer. So thank you. Thank you for providing safe gas lines, right? Thank you. We have to, we have to, it is a requirement, a mandate. We have to get better at looking at the things that currently exist in our lives and saying thank you. The people in our lives. Now, for the people in our lives, yes, we do look at those people and we can find something good in everyone, but it does not mean that we need to have a relationship with everyone. We can still operate from a place of gratitude and appreciation without needing to operate in a dynamic and relational way because that dynamic might not be healthy for us. And thank you that I'm wise enough to know that that dynamic is not healthy. Thank you to myself for being aware enough to, one, recognize, and two, to do something about it and create necessary space. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We have to get better at just saying thank you. And then when we learn how to operate from that space where we're finding things to be grateful for in the little things and the big things and all of the things in the people, in the places, in the situations, in the events, we also find that we are more able to find gratitude within ourselves as well. Thank you to my body. I have two functioning legs and arms. I have 10 fingers and 10 toes. I have two hands. And I'm not grateful because other people don't have them. I'm grateful because I do. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let me just give you this last nugget. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There are over 8 billion people on the planet. You are the only one of you that ever has been, ever is, and ever will be. The chance of you being here is one in 400 quadrillion, which means you are not a mistake. You are here on purpose. So thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing before you even got here to come here because the world needs what you have and you're the only person who can deliver it in the way that you can deliver it. So thank you. Thank you because whatever and whenever another person does the work to get themselves to a happier and healthier place. They release vibrations that we cannot see that actually impacts the planet for the better and creates ripple effects of positivity. So thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you for participating in the work to make yourself healthier and happier. Thank you for choosing to do it. Thank you for wanting to become the best version of yourself. Thank you for saying thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for using I am in a more constructive and healthy way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Love you. Peace. Mm -hmm.